Evergrande has faced a precipitous decline. Evergrande rapidly expanded its footprint in the property sector. Chinese authorities introduced a series of measures known as Red Lines in 2020. Rise of Evergrande At its zenith, Evergrande stood as a shining example of China's economic prowess. As recently as 2016, the company claimed the title of China's largest real estate developer based on sales. Founded by Mr. Huai in the late 1990s, Evergrande rapidly expanded its footprint in the property sector. Fueled by China's booming economy and the government's post-2008 stimulus package that flooded the market with liquidity, the company leveraged its land holdings as collateral to secure loans enabling it to amass a staggering portfolio of over 1,300 real estate projects across 280 cities. This aggressive expansion strategy even ventured into new energy vehicles and diverse investments, such as football companies and bottled water. The Debt Spiral Evergrande's exponential growth, however, was accompanied by a corresponding surge in debt. By 2021, the company found itself staggering under a mountain of liabilities, amassing over $300 billion in debt obligations. The origins of this debt crisis can be traced back to China's real estate sector, which accounts for about 30% of the country's dollar-denominated bonds. To address the reckless borrowing that was fueling the bubble, Chinese authorities introduced a series of measures known as Red Lines in 2020, setting limits on the debt developers could accumulate. The precipitous fall Despite briefly securing a lifeline through government assistance to avert an immediate liquidity crisis, Evergrande's financial state remained on a downward trajectory. The fateful moment arrived in December 2022 when the company, unable to meet its debt obligations, officially defaulted. This marked a critical turning point, underlining the severe challenges the company faced and triggering a series of reverberations that echoed across global markets. The government's stance of not intervening sent a resounding message advocating for market-oriented solutions and emphasizing the importance of letting the market forces play out. While this showcased China's commitment to financial discipline and stability, it simultaneously ignited concerns about the potential fallout that such a decision could have on the broader Chinese economy. The interconnectedness of the real estate sector with various industries and individual livelihoods raised alarms about potential spillover effects. As Evergrande's default reverberated through financial networks, it acted as a wake-up call, prompting investors and policymakers alike to reevaluate their strategies and prepare for potential ripple effects. The cascading consequences of Evergrande's financial turmoil shed light on the intricate web of economic dependencies and underscored the need for resilience in the face of unexpected disruptions. Implications and Lessons The Evergrande saga sheds light on the potential risks inherent in China's debt-fueled expansion model. As China's economy shifts towards a new phase, characterized by an emphasis on sustainable growth and reduced speculation, the days of leveraging debt for rapid expansion may be numbered. The fallout from Evergrande's crisis has led to a cautious approach from investors who now seek greater certainty about China's regulatory landscape before committing their resources. Furthermore, Evergrande's crisis highlights the critical role that the real estate sector plays in China's economy. Given that many Chinese families consider their homes to be a significant portion of their wealth, any sharp declines in property values could have far-reaching consequences, including reduced consumption and potential social unrest. The story of Evergrande serves as a powerful reminder of the risks associated with excessive debt accumulation and speculative growth strategies. As China's economic landscape evolves and authorities prioritize stability and sustainability, the era of leveraging debt to build empires may be drawing to a close. The challenges faced by Evergrande underscore the importance of prudent financial management, transparent communication, and the need for a diversified economy that is resilient in the face of market volatility. The fall of Evergrande is not just the end of a chapter for the company. It's a significant moment in China's economic journey, signaling a shift towards a more cautious and measured approach to growth. As we wrap up our exploration of Evergrande's tumultuous journey, one thing is clear. The rise and fall of this real estate giant serves as a powerful reminder of the impact unchecked debt and speculative growth can have on even the mightiest of companies. 
The Ever Grande Saga highlights the importance of financial prudence, adaptability, and transparency in today's dynamic business landscape. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more thought-provoking content. Thanks for joining us on this journey.